Hi. In the previous tutorials, you've learned all the important basic stuff. Comb and all-pass filters, nesting, filtering, modulation, polymorphic algorithms, and FDNs. Now it's time to finally put it all together to form something great. But before we continue, it's necessary to mention one helper module, L, as level, which by default does, well, nothing. But you can specify a dB gain. For example, this algorithm is simply a plus three dB gain. Okay, so the first module is circular comb. It's a system of delays with interchange feedbacks. It solves the problem with resonances of simple comb filters because of the complex feedback routing makes each echo delay different until the moment the echo goes through the whole circular system of delays. To make this module work, you need to insert some modules into it, two times the number of delays in it to be precise. First set of modules are processing delay outputs. Next set is processing delay feedbacks. For starters, the most simple example, a system of 10 delays without any processing. Now you can see why we need the level module. Specifying 10 is nice, but it's always better to control it by complexity. First, let's check a parallel set of simple comb filters. So, lots of resonances and constant echo density. Now, let's try the circular comb, which has the exact same number of delays. Much better. The echo density is still constant. In fact, it's making some sort of repetitive pattern, which indicates the echo is going around the whole system of delays but the resonances are much better. The higher the complexity, the better, of course, but that also requires more CPU power. In our example, we did nothing to the individual echoes, but the circular comb lets us do pretty much anything using the submodules. So let's first try a bit of a diffusion. Remember how we use this algorithm to continually increase the echo density? We can apply the same idea here. The echo density now quickly goes up to maximum, like in a real room. But if you don't want it to increase so quickly, let's try a polymorph algorithm. Now it all depends on the seed. A final ingredient we should add is dampening. Notice how I use polymorphism again. Anyway, what we have now is a pretty great sounding reverb algorithm. It doesn't have much resonances. Echo density rises and the sound absorption is simulated using dampening. How about some modulation to make the reverb more organic and further get rid of resonances? It's getting complex, isn't it? But it's definitely worth the trouble. It now sounds great and still may not take too much CPU power since the polymorphism randomly bypasses the diffusion, dampening and modulating, creating an extremely complex algorithm which still fits a single line. Now it's all about your imagination. By the way, there is also a circular all pass and a few variations, but I'll leave it to you as reading the documentation is so much fun. But we're not finished. Let's introduce module R as reverb. While circular comb is a system of delays, R is a system of 4x4 FDNs with interconnected feedbacks. It also internally implements dampening and automatically follows the complexity parameter. So in fact, all you need to write is R. And it sounds great. So why did we bother with a long journey? Because it isn't exactly creative to just use a predefined module and R has a specific character, which may not be what you're looking for. 
Now, is it possible to process the feedback with the fully featured reverb module as well? Yes, it is, and it's called RP. Let's try to get some further diffusion then. Since R is made of 4x4 FDNs, you need to use 4x as many submodules as the complexity, so the algorithms may get a bit clunky. This will insert an all pass into all delays in the system. Let's apply what we've learned and make the algorithm even more complex using additional modulation and a few modules I haven't told you about yet. So it's the same reverb again. Some of the feedback paths contain a diffuser, all pass filter or vibrato for modulation. And then, you guessed it right, there's a pitch shifter, frequency shifter, mid-side widener, saturation, and a nested diffuser. And that's far from all we can do with reverb. It's all about your creativity. The good news is M-Turbo Reverb can even generate algorithms if you're out of ideas. Thanks for watching and see you next time.